Monica. Hi, I am Andre. Hi, I'm Sandra. Hi, I'm Christian. I'm Alexandra. Hello, my name is Alina. Hello. Hello, I'm Radish. And we are Master! This is our beautiful city. Hi, boss. Hello, Mr. Gonzalez. I really wanted to talk to you. Why? I'm afraid I would have to fire you. What? Fire me? But why? I think you give a really bad name to our company. That's not possible. I work so much for this company. Yes, but you haven't paid your debts. What? That, that's not possible. I've paid all my debts. I'm sorry. You should take care of something. What? This isn't possible. This newspaper is so outdated. Like, I've paid these stats 10 years ago, and now I have problems at my workplace. Oh, okay, Isabella. I have to go. I have to talk with someone. Bye. Hello. Hello. Is this the Spanish Dental Protection Authority? Yes. Well, I've made a complaint like uh, two two weeks ago. Uh, can I know what happened? Uh, okay, let me search. Okay. So, uh, what do you want from us? I want to know it. If my complaint has been approved or denied? No, it has been denied. Sorry. Oh. By keeping this outdated information on the newspaper's online database that wasn't vetted by Mr. Gonzalez, the law was transgressed. His image and integrity were damaged, ultimately also causing him to lose his job. All this because of an outdated article that wasn't for public interest. These days, the thirst for scandal and useless information is so big that the newspaper went to extreme lengths and broke the law. It's true they had the right to public opinion, but that does not give them the right to hurt someone's integrity. Ultimately, Mr. Gonzalez managed to raise awareness and compel Google to give the people the possibility to erase themselves from the search engine that database after a period of time. God, I have to go to the bathroom. email is meant for me, but I'll open it anyway. As a team, we wanted to raise awareness to a big problem these days. Data confidentiality. We want to show you that you have certain rights that should be respected. Certainly, you've encountered one of these problems at least once. If you forget to log out of Facebook, it doesn't give anyone else the right to snoop. And the same goes for every other social network or private data. Just because it's on a computer, it doesn't mean that your privacy shouldn't be respected. 
Open your eyes and let's start protecting each other. We are, are Maska and we, we believe knowledge is safety. Learn to be safe.